breaking boards to break barriers for kids' mental health. I use um, my first two knuckles. I use the back of my knuckles. I use the edge of my hand. We call it a knife hand. I use the opposite side of my hand, which is called a reverse knife hand. I use my elbow. I use the ball of my foot. I use the back of my heel. And I use the edge of my heel. And I use both sides. Mike Morningstar, owner of Morningstar Taekwondo in Oakville, will be attempting to break through 2,000 boards in just a few hours to raise money in support of an organization that focuses on mental health and addiction issues of children. It's going to the Reach Out Center for Kids here in Halton, The Rock. Um, I'm hoping to raise 50,000. I mean, it's their the kids are the future, right? I mean, if you know how if they get a something goes wrong with them mental health wise when they're young, it's just going to stick with them forever, right? And while the challenge takes physical strength and training, he says the task actually requires more mental endurance. You know, you can prepare physically for the impact of over and over hitting boards, but it's the mental test that's going to, it kicks in around three hours in that, you know, it's starting to seize up a little bit, you're starting to feel it, and then you got to push yourself through to the end. How long do you anticipate it'll take to break 2,000 boards? Um, I try to do it you know, between four and a half to five hours. He also had to make some adjustments to the event due to COVID restrictions. Usually have students holding boards. In this case, I can't do that. So I've managed to secure six metal breaking machines that will hold the boards. Um, so I, I need to get it done, you know, before five hours because that's when the body starts telling you you're not doing a really smart thing here. To make a donation or watch the live stream of the event, you can go to our website, citynews.ca slash extras. In Oakville, Audra Brown, City.